Hello, my name is Vendula Braunova and I'm a recent wind power project management graduate of Uppsala University campus Gotland. Uppsala University is ranked one of the top 100 universities in the world and campus Gotland is the newest one. Since 2011, this master's wind power project management has put approximately 50 graduates into full-time work. They become active in design, research and development, they become project managers, project engineers. They also become academic researchers or PhD students, like Nikos. Well, my academic background starts from uh, physics, my bachelor in physics in Crete. And then I continued with a master's degree in uh, University of Uppsala, campus Gotland, in wind power project management. And further on, now I'm doing my industrial PhD uh, with uh, Uppsala and Winsim. Once I decided that I wanted to pursue a career in wind energy, I looked at long and hard for a program, a master's program that would fit my needs, which was. Uh, quite a challenge because most of the programs are very uh, focused only on the technical aspects and this was the only program that I found that offered uh, both a mix of the technical and managerial uh, competencies. I'm sure there is a lot of huge opportunity for women in the wind industry. System, a particular way that I put it all out there with thoughts and words and pain. Windsim employs CFD to calculate several variables such as turbulent flow, like in this example. Uh, in Meet Pro, we have uh, some online uh, uh, time series data for uh, wind speed, temperature, and meteorological uh, inputs. Not only that, the students of wind power project management go for many field trips have lots of practical exercises and learn how to use the wind power software, but also they have a chance to run and choose a real project. That's what we chose with our organization, ISAPE, International Student Association of Wind Energy. We thought that it would be a good idea to paint on a wind turbine, because normally these structures are just uh, grey, boring structures in landscape. And as uh, the project started running, we had to find one wind turbine to paint on and agree with the owner. Then we also invited school children to join us. And after all, it was also their families, their relatives, their teachers and local Gotland municipality. So we believe that the colors on this wind turbine contribute to a nicer visual impact of wind power on Gotland. It was an ego boost to see that I managed to take part of this master program. It is focused, yes, on, on the technical part, but even if I didn't have that, that background, I managed to, with hard work, to finish those courses as well. And as one of our teacher put it, you have a very steep learning curve right now, and I totally agree with him. Three of our wind power project management students have been hired by a Dutch company called Mekal. Uh, we have had some involvement uh, with the program since its uh, very first beginning or before it began actually. Um, the reason is that uh, we have a very good fit as Mekal or um, as a company with the, uh, with the line of business that we're involved in. Um, work is similar that we do. Um, we are involved in, 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 in all stages of wind power projects as are, uh, is being taught during the program and as well as on and offshore. We deal with all the local authorities involved and we look at landscape issues and ecology issues and we deal with the grid operators, with the network operators for the grid connection of the wind turbine. So the masters, the master has really been useful because I'm doing exactly what I've been studying for. So if I didn't have the master, I mean, having studying this master has helped me a lot.